Who is the fiend? The fiend is Bray Wyatt's alter ego, the beast that lives with inside his mind, who he is now utilised to wreak havoc, destruction and torment on the WWE locker room. But what if there is a more sinister, darker meaning behind the fiend than you ever imagined? But that's what we are going to be discussing in this video, so stick around for that. But that gives me the perfect opportunity to say thank you. We just hit 6,000 subscribers on the channel, and I really do appreciate that. And if you are new here, it would be appreciated if you subscribed. Uh, let me know your thoughts, as always, in the comment section below. I love hearing your theories and your thoughts on these videos. Uh, like this video, it always helps the video, and don't forget to share it on social media. Let your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram followers find this video and let them have their say as well, because this is the topic everyone is talking about. Now this week on Smackdown Live, Bray Wyatt returned with the Firefly Funhouse. And during it, he used it to describe The Fiend. He started by saying the fiend was no man, which means he's not a person. We know that. He's like a beast. He's like a tormentor. He said the fiend is an abomination. And Google defines abomination as a thing that causes disgust or loathing and a feeling of hatred. How can we hate the fiend? The character's just badass and cool, right? He said the fiend is power. Now that's pretty self-explanatory. As the fiend, Bray Wyatt is more powerful. And he also said that the fiend remembers. Now that's interesting because to me that answers a lot of questions as to why the fiend is doing what he is doing. He is literally remembering people that have done Bray Wyatt wrong throughout his career. But what if we've heard from the fiend before? We just never knew it. Well I think we have a long time ago. Let's hear it from Bray himself. Abigail rescued me and my brothers and sisters. She took us to this cabin in, in the middle of nowhere. She told us, beware the man in the woods, for he is real, and he is the eater. No pigment in his skin. He was as pale as a pearl. He had thin yellow hairs, and that's when he looked at me. His eyes were yellow like a cat. I ran straight to Abby's room and I, and I said I saw him. I saw the man in the woods. All he did, he looked right at me with his eyes as if he was staring right through me. And in his hand was my slingshot. It's his slingshot too. You are the man in the woods. Now that was taken from this video, Superstar Ghost Stories with Bray Wyatt, that was uploaded to WWE's YouTube channel over three years ago. And wow, there is some great similarities right there between The Fiend and The Man in the Woods. And definitely go and check out that video and watch the whole thing. It's like three minutes long. It's a good description. Basically, Bray is telling us a ghost story from when he was a child. Abby took him to a cabin in the woods and he was playing in the woods and he went off and he found the man in the woods. And it turned out he is the man in the woods. This deep, dark, evil soul and entity. And he is it. And I wonder... If it's just taken Bray Wyatt this long to let the fiend come out. It's not just like a possession that has been there for like 10 minutes. It's something that's been there his entire life. And it does mark so many things that we've seen in the Firefly Funhouse. I'm sure Bray Wyatt has tied a lot of stuff into this. We know he has. We've seen him on Twitter say that many, many years ago he spoke in riddle, in promos that no one even noticed because nothing had happened yet. And yet all these years later when he's planned the Firefly Funhouse, all the titles of the actual episodes were in the promos from multiple years ago. So it's literally not going to surprise me that when he's coming up with this fiend character, he then uses inspiration from that ghost story as the fiend. Oh, Bray Wyatt. Just when you think this story and this character can't get any more, like, depth and more powerful and more intriguing, 
we find something new. There's a new theory to talk about, something new to talk about and get your teeth into, and that's exactly what we've done in this video, I hope. Now, guys, it's important. Let me know your thoughts, as you always do on these Firefly Funhouse specials. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, follow me over on Twitter as well, at C Wrestling UK. I don't normally plug that, but I'll plug that today. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I shall, as always, see you next time. Peace!